Noah Inkman. I am the poet and the spoken word artist under the brand stage life. Let me tell you about someone. <laughs> but first, if if heaven were my neighbor, I would just wake up one morning and say, Hello, neighbor. How did you sleep? <laughs> then guess what? I'll go back inside. Then through my window pane, I'll say again, Hey, neighbor. How are you? Have you eaten? How is everything going? Okay. If heaven were my neighbor, breakfast time would be us time, lunch time will still be us time, and dinner time will still be us time. I know you call it chook skin, yes. <laughs> but guess what? If heaven becomes my friend, when I get hungry, heaven will be there to feed me. If heaven becomes my friend, if I get so lonely, heaven will still be there to offer me a hug. If heaven becomes my neighbor and my friend, when my house is drowning and flooding, heaven would open his doors for me. So if heaven were my neighbor, I would chook skin, chook skin, chook skin, or to become the best of friends. <laughs> Why? Why is there so much heaviness with what we call enjoyment? So many songs in my head. The ones that I made and the ones that I had. But why? Why are the songs that I had going overhead? Is it the weakness of my spirit or the deafness of my mind? Or maybe the steam in me has lost its place and uh, fully searching overhead? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm not meant for this stage. Maybe I'm just made for sin, believe, and be forgiven. Maybe heaven is not my destination. Maybe I should just fake heaven right here while I'm waiting bondage over there. For this sin has become reflex and it's always on replay. And I fear against getting off my sleeves even if I pray. Maybe. But why? Why? Why does the source of our joy bring tears? Why does sugar become bile at the base of our throats? The other day I was standing before a mirror. My eyes were as wide as fire. My eyes were wearing a smile my heart never knew. A mental body with a broken spirit. Feeling a lot of misery in my okay. I realized in the fact that my poetry had no conclusion. Yes. There was a pain I hadn't figured out. Or maybe I didn't know that I was in pain. Yes, of course, I write things good enough to get the audience staring at me and smacking fingers. But there's a vacuum each time this noise is over and these stage lights go off. There's a vacuum. But then I search to fill that vacuum. I gave my life to Jesus, but the day I did, there was a bittersweet feeling. Do you know why? Bitter because I was scared of the, of the unknown. Sweet because I never knew a love like this ever existed. A love that accepted me as a mess, understood my phrases, but stood firm. I have a God. I have a God who is there through it all, who understands pain without it being explained. I have a God who gets all on wisdom, meaning he's the creator of wisdom, and so I no longer have to be foolish. I have a God who provides for the birds in the sky and thinks his love is loyal. He never lets me go hungry. I have a God who let the Israelites out of captivity so my bondage is no kiss before him for he sets me free. He is my redeemer. He is Elohim. He is Adonai. He is the ancient of days. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. I have a God. I have a God. I have a God. Thank you. <laughs> so Inkman, I'm very proud of you. Um, this is not the first time I've seen you perform. I've seen you perform several times and um, I'm very, 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 very happy. You are an incredible, incredible performer and you just keep on getting better every single day. Today you have taken us to church, you have taught us the gospel, you have lifted our hearts and lifted our spirits. I really just want to say thank you. I believe that you are going places, you are already going places and I think that you are just going to go much further 
and further. All I would say is keep going, keep fo being focused, and keep living the life. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you.